Hello class, welcome once again to our uh, discussion about integration by substitution. So I'll give you more examples on the integration by substitution for a function that are or functions that are algebraic expressions. So but we have to take note that the expression this expression the integral of the square root of multiplied by x squared plus 1 dx can be evaluated by simple power formula for integration after multiplication meaning you have to distribute this okay to each of this term and then you integrate them uh, using the power formula but uh, the expression integral of x times the square root of x squared plus 1 dx not be evaluated by the simple power formula okay for integration since the expression cannot be multiplied well, we cannot multiply x to the square root of something right so we have to uh, do other techniques so we introduce the what called substitution method which we have already discussed uh, for a while but now I'll give you some more examples of those uh, different uh, scenarios but uh, before we go to the examples uh, let us have this rule first now, if u is a function of x a differentiable function of x whose range is an interval i and f is a continuous on i then we have this integration uh, rule so we have the integral of the function which is a function of x multiplied by the derivative of this function of x dx is simply equal to the integral of the function of u du all right so we have here the substitution rule that we can apply. And we can also use the main rule for anti-differentiation. So let b be a differentiable function whose range includes the interval i. If f is a function defined on i, and f is an antiderivative of f, the small f here, on i, then we have this rule. The integral of the function of the function of x multiplied by the derivative of or the derivative of the function of x, this one, multiplied by dx is equal to f sub function of x plus c in particular we can say that if you have a function like this the integrand in this uh, form you know, the product of this one also is derivative then we have is here the equivalent okay so i hope uh, you can still remember the power rule no, this is just uh, related to the power rule all right so we just uh, add one to the exponent here okay then divided by the uh, sum of n plus one then plus c okay so it's a matter of uh, uh, inspecting the Uh, what's beside uh, this function if it's really its derivative okay then we can use this formula all right so seems uh, very abstract no but uh, i think from the example you will you will understand what this rules the chain rule for anti differentiation is all about okay for example so we're given here the following integrals and we are asked to uh, integrate or evaluate all these integrals 
So these are the different scenarios where uh, this rules uh, this one here. This one, and also the main rule for anti differentiation, as well as the, I guess this one, these are the uh, chain rule for anti differentiations. So we will apply all these rules in our next example, but I will show you the solutions uh, to this example class in a separate video. Okay. All right, so see you once again in our next video. Bye.